what it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one, the only Ash Brown. And this is the Ash Brown Uncensored Show. On this program, I talk a little bit about everything. It may be pop culture related. It may be Ash Brown related. You just got to stay tuned to see what I'm going to talk about. Hmm. All right. So I've got a friend that is going through a really difficult time. And she's one of my subscribers, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put her name out there. She know who she is, and she's definitely one of my closest friends. And she's going through a really difficult time. And I shared with her a little bit about my story and my last relationship, or what have you, or. I don't know if people may say relationship and that was something that I just had to go through or whatever the case is. But I wanted to paint the picture and share the story with you guys because someone else out there may be going through something similar, may be dealing with some things. And it's always good to know that you're not alone. So picture this, you know, 30-something year old, just left the military and my mom had just passed. I was just going through a lot in that time frame, a whole lot. And I met this guy and he was smart. He was funny. He was from New York and we had a lot of things in common, but he was about 13 years my senior And I had never dated a guy that much older than me. But everything, all the pieces seemed to come together. All the pieces seemed to come together. And, you know, we started dating and hanging out. But in the midst of us dating and getting to know each other, he was exhibiting signs of a control freak, a narcissist. Possibly a sociopath. But I wanted so much to mask my grief. I wasn't ready to deal with my grief. I I can admit that now. I can see it for what it is today. But then I just was like, you know, no, I just need to get my stuff in order. So we did it on for about, I want to say it was maybe like, Maybe like 10 months or so. So for me, it was very serious. Every relationship that I've gone into has been serious for the most part for me to to an extent. Um, Outside of this one and the other one in which I really just went into just to occupy my time. And I hate saying that because I don't want it to seem like I was using those guys, but Technically speaking, they serve the purpose. But, um, yeah, so by that time, you know, he's talking about introducing me to his kids and helping him start this other business on the side and doing this and that or whatever. But I also noticed that he was not very encouraging of my dreams at all. He was not very encouraging at all of the things that I wanted to accomplish or how he could help me. Or how he could support me, not even just financially, just, you know, just be there, be a support system for me and encourage me along the way. Because everyone knows, well, if you don't know, being an entrepreneur, it's lonely at the top. And it takes a lot of grit, a lot of grind. A lot of people will say, oh my gosh, Ash, you're doing this or you're doing that or this many people are listening and that many people are downloading. Yeah, but... You have no idea what it took to get me to that place for that to even happen. I At that point, I was starting to cultivate my company. I was starting to do uh, emceeing and wedding officiant work here in a local market in Atlanta and I had I'm a I'm a very visual person and I like to really analyze names and branding and what's going to work. And so I had like a list of names of different things and one of the names on the list was Ash Said It. 
because I was like, you know what, if I say it or I said it or whatever, then that makes it so final because I said it. So that's it. That's law. And I, because at this point he was very much a part of, he was my inner circle. Essentially, he was my inner circle. And I shared the list with him and he just scoffed at all of them. And he especially disliked Ash said it. I remember that distinctly. He he despised it. He was like, that is not good. It's not catchy. It's not going to pick up. You got to go in this. Da, 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 da. Says someone that's not an entertainment. Mm. Mm. So that's when my antenna started to go. Like, I was like, mm, maybe he is not who I need to be dealing with. <laughs> maybe he is not it. But I still continue to entertain it because I was like, you know what? He's a good guy. He would never do me dirty. He's, you know, he's cool. And then he disappeared for about three months. We had no mutual friends. I didn't know his family. He didn't know mine. So with him just vanishing and just going up in smoke, I I grieved. I grieved the relationship. I grieved him because I didn't know if he was alive or dead or in between. I don't know. I had no indication what was going on with this guy or what had happened or what anything. And after about three and a half or so months, I got this weird call coming to my phone. I'm like, this number ain't saved. Suspicious. (laughs) Suspicious. And I sent it to voicemail a couple of times. And eventually I picked it up and it was him. It was his crazy ass. And he just like, I don't know if he thought that he was just pulling the wool over my eyes. We hadn't talked for like three, four months. And he just went into this whole t- talking spill about what was going on. And I let him babble on for about 10 minutes. And then when he finally was catching his breath, I was like, yeah, well, where the hell you been? And it turned into, oh, oh, you know, I just had this going on, that going on. And if you cared about me that much, you couldn't pick up the phone, just like how you doing now? You couldn't send a text message. Hell, he had my email. But the fact that he never reached out to say, hey, Ash, just checking to see if you're having a good day. Hey, Ash, I'm just calling to see if you... Damn, woke up this morning. Somebody somewhere didn't wake up. All of those factored into me releasing him back into the world. Where he belonged. Worldly people, you can have a world. Yep, sure can. But the cherry on top of it. (laughs) Three months I haven't talked to this joker. He insinuates that he needs $2,600 to get his car fixed. And he's like, oh, I don't know where I'm going to get the $2,600 from. I don't know where. I was like, well, shoot, me neither. But if you find somebody or some kind of means to get an extra $2,600, please let your girl know. Because I sure could use an extra $2,600. <laughs> I sure could use $2,600. Oh, that would be nice. That would be nice. And that was the last time I talked to that person. That was the very last time I talked to him. But we all have to go through these storms. And in the moment, it hurts. In the moment, it's confusing. In the moment, you just don't know how to deal because you're just like, where do I go from here? But your inner voice always tells you. Your inner voice will let you know. Some things and some people are to remain in your past. They can't be in your present. They're not going to elevate you. They're not going to help you get to that next level of what it is that you need to accomplish. So you have to leave them behind. You have to. Because otherwise you're just dragging along dead weight and that dead weight isn't helping you become a better person. So this is my little tidbit for the day. And um, I just felt the need to share that and Put that out into the universe because it, it's it's a challenge. This life thing and dealing with these people thing, it's, it's a challenge. And there's a lot of hurt people out there 
hurting other people. A lot of hurt people hurting other people. And at this stage in the game, I totally understand that statement way more than I did 10, 20 years ago. So that is the the gist of uh, my little chat today. But I hope that you guys had a great day. I hope that you're having a fantabulous week. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting the Ash Senate movement for all the downloads, the shares, the cares. It makes a huge difference. And I'm going to holler at y'all later. Deuces.